Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. In this week's technical analysis, we're just going to concentrate on the big three. The market cap of all cryptocurrencies gone up to $283 billion. You know, the majority of that continues to flow into the big three. So Coinbase is adding users in record numbers, 13.3 million there, 45.2 million wallets. Look, money is going to continue to flow into the big three if they continue to add users and more merchants here. So plenty to like about this space at the moment. I said last week for the big three, I definitely thought the path, the most likely path was higher. We had so much good news and technically the charts were strong. So Bitcoin was trading at around 7,700. You know, we'd had this, you know, minor correction, the big push up. We had a bit more of a base sort of forming there, nice and healthy, higher fib levels. It's not giving us much back. And then we get this other push higher. So look, now we're waiting to see whether or not the markets continue higher and really extend themselves, or we have this pullback into the 2nd of December. So look, 10,000 psychologicals now within striking distance. I just want to show you a few of these fib extensions I'm looking at. So from the old 3,000 there, let's go back to that high that we had at around 8,000. Then that pullback there, and that gives us this level that we've just about kissed right now at around 9,300. So look, that's what we need to overcome first. Then we've got 10,000 psychological, and you know, there's a fair bit of resistance here from a FIB confluence point of view. So I'm looking at 10,200 and 10,400, thereabouts. So there's a fair bit of work to do. So look, if we go straight there, I think that's pretty tough resistance and we need a correction. So other than that, we can stair step up, we can have a little pullback, and then the market needs, you know, that next oomph, that push up from this bracket or some good fundamental news to push through all those resistances. And then again, 10,000, all of a sudden, that becomes that psychological number in people's heads that becomes support. So pretty interesting times ahead. You know, it's amazing to see Bitcoins come this far that we're even talking about Bitcoin going to $10,000. Ethereum, last week we are trading around 370. We'd just broken through this long-term resistance around 340. Consolidating here, I was looking to you know, have this day or two of correction. And if you followed my cycle bracket theory work, you know that if that's all the market's gonna give in the way of weakness and one little red candle, that tells us that this next push up should be very strong. And that's exactly what we got here. So, you know, a nice big move here. Let's call it, you know, $140 there, about 40%. So massive move for, you know, the second biggest coin by market cap here. You guys know that I love the fundamentals of this one. They continue to kick goals. Again, we're just consolidating here at a high fib level. And again, if we go back to $130, back to this old high here of around 400, then that pullback that the market gave us down to around 200, that's gonna give us our FIB extensions to look at. And sure enough, that's right around where we're hovering at the moment at 470 at this FIB extension. So look, this is all nice and healthy technically. Again, same as Bitcoin, whether or not we continue higher and we overextend ourselves, or we can take a healthy breather and we just sort of chop around here for a little while before we get these next two brackets pushing higher to give us that nice, powerful move that we need that oomph through psychological $500 number that a lot of people are going to be looking at but technically everything's looking very strong here for Ethereum. So Litecoin last week we were trading around $68. One of the main things that I was looking at was the cycle to continue to push higher for the majority of the length of the bracket which is what's known as a right hand translation and for us to regain these old trend lines that we'd lost. So, you know, this trend line here was the newest one when we had that weakness and we'd lost the longer term uptrend lines. But now, you know, that first one, re resistance became support, we bounced off it, and now we've regained this old trend line. So, Litecoin, this bracket here, bottoms on the 28th of November. Let's see if this long term trend line can act as support. I think that we've got that, you know, ninety dollar there, that that round psychological one hundred, and that all time high. So you know, that's what I'm looking at for Litecoin. Let's go all the way back here to three dollars, up to the all time highs, 
down to the pullback here around $34 and that gives us our FIB extensions again. So if we do break through that powerful 100 number, the next number I'm looking at there is $108 as my FIB extension level that could be a resistance. So look, let's see if these charts want to continue higher and extend themselves. I would prefer that they take a breather or they chop around until each of them hit their next cycle bracket and get that next wave of money, that next push higher. So look guys, there's plenty to like at the moment. The big three continue to power higher. New money's flowing into this space. Institutional money's flowing into this space. If you've followed my work, you know I think this market cap continues higher towards a trillion dollars. I hope you guys are making some good gains out there. Please hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, share these videos around, and as always, thanks for tuning in, guys. Cheers.